Today's video is the wiring of the Salus RX-10 RF. The wiring of the Salus RX-10 RF, very similar to the IT-800 receiver, very similar to the older receivers, except there's a separate terminals. On the right hand side, you will have neutral, neutral, earth, live in, and a second live there, which would be a live out. This would then come along here with a link to common, and then the relay switches common across the normally open back to your boiler. If your boiler is zero volts or low voltage, you would not insert this link from live to common. You would have two terminals on your boiler PCV and they would come from the boiler out in to the common and then out of the normally open to your switch live on the PCV of the boiler. Inside the lid you have a switch which is RX1, RX2. The receiver comes switched to RX1 which is for thermostats using this as a boiler receiver. RX2 allows you to connect a second one of these to the thermostat which would then activate a pump or a zone valve, smart relay or any other device in a remote location. You do have the option of manual on or off. So should anything fail or the gateway fail, thermostat fails, you can manually override simply going to the receiver box, switching it to manual, and turning the device on. This will fire up your boiler until you manage to sort out any problems. Normally you would leave it on auto and on, which would then allow the thermostat and the app to control everything. This was that stat man. If you like, please share, follow, subscribe. Next, we will be using the app, setting up the thermostat, setting up the hub to the app and controlling our heating remotely. Thank you.